Hello and welcome back to Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. That intro will never get old. The story so far. Marie left the Paris Opera in tears after being told the Duchess Elizabeth that she is not Marie's mother. By the Duchess Elizabeth, my bad. Worried for her, Raphael asks around after Marie's whereabouts. Oh, I'm a tired panda bear today. Ugh. Oh, goodness. Okay, sorry. I got off of a, like, four-hour Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 binge, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm a little tired. Excuse me, you haven't seen a girl with a violin pass through here, have you? A girl with a violin, not the girl playing on the Champs-Élysées sometimes. If it's her you're looking for, I saw her not long ago in the Place Saint-Pierre. She seemed a bit down. All right. And let's head to the Place de Saint-Pierre. This chapter might be a little boring, so I'll make it as entertaining as possible. No, I won't. Sorry, I don't want to jinx it. I'm going to make it entertaining. Don't you worry. Just because... I am yawning up a storm over here does not mean I'm not going to make this entertaining. I recorded the saxophone, my goodness. Oh look, it's Mr. Fluffyface. Huh, a moment, don't move. It's just like that. Scribble, scribble. Done! Parfait! Well, what do you think? Looks like you! Woof! That's pretty incredible! By the way, you haven't seen a girl with a violin pass through here, have you? Well, did she look like... This? <gasps> That's her! That's Marie! Do you know where she went? I saw her just now, in fact. She went walking up toward Montmartre, as I recall. Thank you. Merci. And now we are heading up to this area. Oh. Story? moves just like the very first mini game we ever had just follow their moves let's do this it's showtime yeah all right yeah all right there we go Whoops. Spot on! This chapter's a tad boring, I'm not gonna lie. But this is cute. I like how we're trying to cheer Marie up. It's 
sounded like she said, I want to sit on your face. That's what I heard. That's not how you cheer Marie up, Phantom R. Rhythm King! You can't see me now. Wait, yes you can. Well, I don't know about you, but I saw at least one angel. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, Raphael. Hey, let's go to my apartment. There's something I'd like to show you. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh God, we share a lot, Marie. I don't have parents either. My mother died in an accident, and my father may have been an artist, but he never got a break. I first learned his secret when I found this cellar. He was a forgery artist. <gasps> I didn't know you could be an artist of forgeries. Oh, they're works of art, all right, indistinguishable from the originals. I found his diary too. He was swapping his forgeries for the real pieces, then selling them on the black market. Until he left me three years ago.
That was when I made my decision. As Phantomar, I would steal back my father's forgeries from the museums, then return the originals to their rightful places. I always waited until the investigation of the theft was over before making the works reappear. That explains the mystery of why Phantomar returns the things he steals. I had no idea. I don't think anyone does. I also started looking for pieces hearing the same, bearing the same mark as the one on this coin my father left me. So you could find him? Yeah. That's how I came across the bracelet of Tiamat. But what's that same mark doing on my violin? I wish I knew. Do you think that man calling himself Napoleon and those knights were after the mark too? They said they were after Napoleon's lost treasure, the dragon crown. If I can just figure out the mystery of this mark, I'll be able to figure out everything. What will you do if you find your father again, Raphael? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to find out. Still. Yes? I need to know the truth. I need to know what he's been hiding from me all this time. I should get you back to the convent. Oh. My big ass thumb in the way. Alright. Let's take Marie back to the convent, shall we? Like I said, not the most exciting chapter of them all, but you know what, whatever. I'm sure you'll find your mother someday. Thanks, Raphael, but I'm not sitting around and waiting. I want to go find this treasure of- whoops, I skipped it. Whatever. Huh? Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, Raphael's thinking the same thing as all of us. What did she just say? <laughs> Whoops! Maybe I should restart the save file just to... No, I'm joking. Let's not do that. But I'm sure you can pause the video and you can see what she said. My bad. Think about it. The mark is on the violin my mother left for me. What if she has something to do with Napoleon's lost treasure too? Maybe finding the treasure will lead me to her, and you to your father. I don't know. That's why we have to find out. Please, Raphael, take me with you when you go to find the treasure, please. I can't take you into a fight against Napoleon, it's too dangerous. Not as dangerous as it would be for you to go looking for the treasure alone. If we go together, we can help each other. Okay, okay, but if things get really dicey, I'm going in alone, got it? Thanks, Raphael. So, let's meet up tomorrow and start the search. Sure. See you tomorrow. Yep. See you too, Fondue. Morning, Marie! Morning, Raphael! Ready for the day? Woof. Woof! You bet! Let's hit the streets to gather info! We need to find the Cross of the Sun King to complete the crown! Sorry, the 3DS was out of frame. My bad. And we will do that next time! Peace!